So I just got off the train and I'm in one of my favourite places. I usually see roe deer here, so that's what I'm hoping to see today. And it's, it's nice and warm, it's like 20 degrees, it's a bit sunny. But I'm hoping that in a couple of hours it's going to get stormy and maybe rain. Anyway, I better get my gear out and uh, have a little walk around this area because it's really nice right now. I just had this kind of crazy moment. I was just like, you know, I've been here a few minutes, I was just getting set up, and then suddenly in the distance I heard this galloping, like about six horses in a line just galloped straight past me on the path. I'm not sure if I had a chance to dial in quite the right settings because it happened so suddenly, but yeah, this is what it looked like if the clip's any good. So I just mounted my 500mm lens back onto my D850 and you know my last video is maybe a little bit negative towards the Z6 for wildlife but I have to say it feels a lot better having it back on the D850 just the responsiveness the fact that as you're looking through the viewfinder you know you can already see through it as you bring it up to your eye it doesn't like turn on after half a second I just feel right at home so I think this setup works a lot better for me. I suppose now I'd better get the pics to prove it. So uh, let's go find some deer. Well, the wind is definitely picking up, so it seems to be getting a little bit stormier now. And who knows when it's going to start raining. So I think I really need to find some deer soon. The trouble with deer and roe deer in particular is they're quite small. And when there's a lot of greenery and shrubbery like this, they'll just sit in the grass and in the bushes and I'm sure that's where they spend most of their time just hiding so you might have to walk around for a while but eventually they will get hungry they will get uncomfortable they'll get up they'll start walking around they'll start eating it really is just a matter of time until you find them <laughs> So I've just arrived and found a couple of beautiful roe deer. There are two females, I think. So when you first spot roe deer like this, it's important not to try and get closer immediately. You actually want to give a little bit of time for them to kind of get used to the fact that you're there because they're going to be looking at you and they'll bob their head up and down. That's them trying to gauge distance. Um, but just stay quiet, stay fairly still. And after a while, they should go back to their normal behavior of like eating and stuff. So um, that's what I'm doing now, and I'm trying to keep my voice down, I hope you can hear me. But um, right now they're probably about 50 meters away from me. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy because I was really hoping I'd see deer today, and as usual, it's as I was heading back that I finally saw them. Well, apart from the one buck that I saw earlier, but these ones are actually eating and moving around. So yeah, I'm going to try and get a bit closer and get some more shots.
I've actually got exactly what I wanted today. I came out a few days ago and I was really hoping for like a nice rainy day and I got a bit of rain, but I didn't really get like the sustained full morning of rain that I wanted. So as you can see in here, it's raining pretty steadily right now. And um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be approaching my photography in the rain and the kind of preparations I've made. So you might say, well, why would you want to come out and photograph in the rain? Well, not many people do it. I think it can create some really unique images. I think also the animals can be a bit calmer when it's raining because there aren't so many people around. They sort of seem to calm down for some reason, I've noticed anyway. But there are some important preparations you need to make if you're going to come out and shoot in the rain. So, for example, make sure that you're comfortable being out for hours, getting completely soaked. I've got like a, it's not fully waterproof, but like a water resistant jacket on. I'm not going to really suffer if I get very wet because it's not very cold. And then of course the other thing you have to worry about is your gear. Even if your camera and lens are weather sealed, if you're coming out for like extended periods of shooting where you're going to be in the rain for hours, you probably want to use a rain cover for your camera. And the other thing is if you have a backpack, make sure that it's either waterproof or like on mine, it has this kind of cover that pulls out and covers over it to make it waterproof. You just want to make sure that, because if you're out in the rain for hours, you're going to get fully soaked. So just make sure that your bag everything that's in there stays dry. So yeah, I need to start getting my DSLR and lens out and my rain cover, and I'll show you which one I've got and uh, how it works, basically. All right, so I got my camera and lens out now. It's the D850 with the 500 millimeter PF lens. And um, it is raining pretty relentlessly, so I need to get this on quickly, but here's the rain cover I'm using. It's a Think Tank emergency rain cover medium. I wanted to show myself like putting it on the camera but to be honest, the rain's coming down pretty heavy, so I kind of just get, need to put it on. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that while holding the vlogging camera at the same time anyway. So let me get that on and then I'll show you what it looks like. So again, the rain cover I'm using, this is what's been keeping my gear dry and safe all day. This is the Think Tank Emergency Rain Cover Medium. It fits the D850 with the 500 PF lens. I think it would even fit a slightly bigger lens. So it's just a nice, inexpensive rain cover that packs up really small you can keep it in your bag all the time and if you're interested in picking one up i'll put a link down in the description that you can check out i'm not sponsored by think tank i just happen to be using this product today in the rain and i thought i'd tell you about it and share it with you
yeah, I saw this female roe deer and then I took some pictures and video of her and then to my surprise, I was kind of hoping that this would happen but I wasn't sure if it would, her little one came out from behind her and started like feeding and eating um, some of the greens around it. So I got some shots of them and some video, that was really cute. It was still raining quite hard at that point. But then after a while I started to realise that I couldn't feel the buttons on my camera. And I suppose there's a lesson to be learned here. Even though it's August, it's summer, it's about 15 degrees today, it's raining, it's windy, and I got wet and I got very cold very quickly. So at that point I already had got some video and some shots of those two deer, the mother and her young roe deer. So I was trying to walk around and like warm up, but every time I went around the next corner I kept seeing another deer. I kept seeing the same roebuck who seemed... I'm not sure if he was shy, but he just kept walking around, like I could never really get any pictures or much video footage of him because he just kept walking from place to place. But I think the main takeaway from this video is if you go out in the wind and the rain, even in the middle of summer, just make sure you have enough clothing that you can keep warm. Make sure you have waterproof clothing so that you don't soak through because that will make you cold really quickly. I think I said earlier that my coat is water resistant and it is but it still soaked through eventually. It was raining really heavily earlier so I'm not surprised. But yeah right now I'm just kind of cold really so I might have one more little walk around the area and then if I don't see anything I think I'm going to start heading home so that I can warm up again. So this might be the end of the video unless I see anything else while I'm walking around. So for now I'll say thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.